Now let's move on to a problem dealing with graphing a quadratic function. Use the vertex and intercepts to graph the quadratic function f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Since this we know that this is a quadratic function, then we know that its characteristic shape will be a parabola. We can determine that the parabola will open, in, open upward by looking at the leading coefficient. This is going to be the number in front of the x squared, which of course is understood to be the value 1. That tells us that we're going to have a parabola that opens upward. Now we're going to use the formula for finding the vertex. So to find the vertex, we can find our x-coordinate by using the formula negative b divided by 2a. In our problem, our b value is going to be the coefficient of x. So we're going to take the negative of our negative 2. We'll divide that by twice the a value, which is the coordinate of x squared, and that's going to be 2 times 1. So in our numerator, we're going to come up with the value of 2. In the denominator, we also have the value of 2. And so that gives us an x-coordinate of 1. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we now substitute the value of 1 into our function. That's going to give us 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 8. And now that's going to be 1 minus 2 minus 8. And that gives us a value of negative 9. So our vertex is going to have coordinates 1, comma, negative 9. Next, we're going to find the intercepts of the graph. To find the x-intercepts, we're going to let our y value equal 0. And that means that we're going to be looking at solving the equation 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, to solve this, we can use factoring. Our x squared can be factored as x times x. We'll be looking for factors of 8 that subtract to give us 2, and we can use 4 and 2. Let's use the fact that if we make this a negative 4x and a positive 2x, then our inner term is negative 4x, and our outer term is positive 2x, combining to give us the negative 2x in the middle. Now let's take each of the factors, set equal to 0. We come up with x equals 4. For our first, and for our second, we come up with x equals negative 2. So our x-intercepts will have coordinates 4, 0, negative 2, 0. Next, we find our y-intercept, and we can do this by finding f of 0. Substituting in 0 for x, we can end up squaring 0, which is 0, subtract 2 times 0, which is 0, and we come up with the constant value of negative 8 from the function. Now we're going to take the information we have here, the vertex, the x-intercepts, and the y-intercept, and we're going to use that in order to graph the function. So let's quickly sketch an xy plane. And let's start by plotting points. Our vertex has coordinates 1, negative 9. So we have to move one unit over on the x-axis, and we're going to have to go nine units down. Let me go ahead and mark off the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine units down would now give us this point. That's the vertex. We have x-intercepts at 4, 0. So let's go ahead and continue on the x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. Plot that point. And negative 2, comma 0, so we'll mark off our units and mark our x-intercept at negative 2. And we have a y-intercept at negative 8. Okay, and so we have our 4, negative 2, this is negative 8, and our vertex was at 1, comma negative 9. And now we're going to draw in that characteristic parabolic shape And there's the graph of this quadratic function.